Aries. How are we all doing out there? Hello to anyone who's new. Welcome to Deep Soul Tarot. My name is Kelly. And for those who are returning and part of my tribe, hey, what's up? What's going on? Thank you so much for tuning in. We're going to be doing your love reading today, Aries, for the end of May, May 16th to the 31st of 2020. Um, this is for Aries Sun and Moon, Rising Venus, and even Mercury, Jupiter, and Mars. So if you don't know your um, astrological birth chart, birth chart, I highly recommend you finding that out so you have all that information. That can be very, very helpful within the readings. If this doesn't resonate, sometimes your other placements resonate more. And because this is love, you might want to look at your Venus. Um, and even if it does resonate, sometimes you can get more information that way. You know, again, looking at your Venus. So... Okay, but these are general reads, so they may not resonate for all of you, all right? So just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But if you do like these love readings, and particularly if you liked it and it resonated, please give me a thumbs up, smash that like button for me, would you please? I greatly appreciate it. I pay attention to all that, so. Um, and do consider subscribing and joining the tribe. And hit the bell icon button so you can get notifications of further readings if you haven't done so already i do twin flame readings i shall be doing a, a full moon reading we have a full moon on may 7th so my moon reading and the energy is coming from from the full moon moving towards the new moon the next new moon um will be in that reading on thursday so you can check that out see sometimes like this moon is very much about emotions sometimes you can get more information that way it is a collective reading but still um these are timeless readings. It is based on the energy between May 16th and the 31st of 2020. But time is an illusion and energy is fluid. So some of this may have already happened. Some of this may be happening as you're watching this right now. Maybe none of this has happened and it's going to happen to you in the future. So it does not have to happen between May 16th and the 31st. Those are just the energies of that period and moving forward. So and even if you watch this video past May. It's okay. Whenever you watch it, it's most likely when you were guided to watch it. And if it resonates, that was the message for you at that time. Okay, Aries, are you ready? Are you ready, Freddy? Here we go. One more shipful. One more shipful. All right. Okay, here we go. Strap your seatbelt on. Hold on. This could be a wild ride. Aries, isn't it always a wild ride with you? Boy, this King of Swords just keeps showing up in all these readings, I'm telling you. Now, I just did the, um, just as a side note. This came through, I swear, I swear to God this came through in every reading. So, today, I've done, um, Pisces, Gemini, and, uh, Taurus. So, this came out, I believe, all three of those readings today, and now yours. So, you may be dealing with one of those signs, and if not, you may be dealing with an air sign. Um, Gemini. Oh, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. But I just did Gemini's reading, so you might you might be dealing with the Gemini. Um, regardless, regardless. In the matter of love, Gemini, uh, Gemini, in the matter of love, Aries, I'm so sorry, you are trying to be very analytical in your decision. Whatever it is you may be dealing with, you're trying to be analytical and being wise about your, yeah, you got some, you got a little bit of internal battles going on. Either that or you have other people um, causing havoc in your love life. Maybe a little bit of drama. Hmm? Well, let's see where you're at. Your energy, Aries. Let's see. What is the energy of our Aries? There we go. Okay. You have the Page of Swords. Again, air sign. So you could be dealing with an air sign. Again, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. But I just did the Gemini reading, and Gemini had the King of Swords in there. Um, Page of Swords is very much about... Um, their thoughts and learning about a situation and they're very focused on that if you look in the picture the person is so focused on what they're trying to figure out that they are crossing over two gaps of, of a i guess a mountain whatever it is there's a big gap right here and a tiny tiny stick or twig whatever it is and on their tiptoes not even paying any attention you know could easily easily slip off of that thing but they're balanced on there they're balanced on there um but the Page of Swords um, is kind of like the investigative. They want to get down to the nitty-gritty. They want to get through the BS. They want to know exactly what they're getting into. 
and that may be your energy and the thing about the page of swords though they can sometimes be so into that and so focused on that it, it can end up being on the verge of like spying for example you may very well be spying on your person's social media pages say their facebook page their instagram whatever it is people are into at tiktok whatever i'm not into all that other stuff i, I do instagram and facebook but not too often uh, Instagram I do for my channel, but and I'll peruse very quickly on my personal channel. But um, but I'm just saying that sometimes you you can be um, so curious about your person that you you know you start to look at their Facebook page and see what they're into and what they're doing, it's who they may be seeing. Hmm, hi priestess, your person may be a mystery to you. Maybe they don't show how they feel. We'll see when they when their cards come out. Because the High Priestess is very mysterious and very much about <clears throat> intuition. So no matter how much you think about this person, no matter how much you investigate and spy on them, you're going to have to trust your intuition on this one. You're going to have to trust your gut on this one. Because I'm not sure if you're going to get a whole lot of information on their social media. They may be a very private person. Hmm. A little apathy here for love. A little apathetic. You got a few empty cups over here and you're spilling that last cup. It's, and you know, pushing it's going down the drain. Is this is this relationship not going in the direction you would like or not going well let's see. Let's see their energy and then we'll we'll figure that out. So this is your person that you're thinking of. You're popped right out. Alright, you know what? We have the Six of Wands. Uh, this can have different meanings. This can have different meanings, Aries. Sorry, I had my mouth covered. Um, I'm hearing your person has a bit of an ego. Maybe a little bit of egotistical. Hopefully not narcissistic. Let's see what else we have here. Could be a Cancer. <laughs> I'm a Cancer, that's why I'm laughing. Cancer, Cusp of Leo, but... Um, I'm, actually, I'm hearing that this person is moving forward. I don't know if that's toward you or away from you. Not sure yet. We'll see the bottom of the deck any minute. But they're moving forward, and it's almost like, <sighs> with the ego thing, I mean, that's what I'm hearing, the ego with that card. There are different ways you can read the, the Six of Wands. For, but for what I'm getting is somebody has an ego, and I think they're kind of, <laughs> and I don't know where this is coming from, but I just heard that, they, they're used to getting what they want. So, if they go after something, they're used to getting what they want. And, um... I'm not sure if... I'm not sure if you're okay with that. They might be a little arrogant about it. Four of Swords. Well, that's interesting energy. Let me see now. You know what I'm hearing? You know what I'm hearing, Aries? And again, this is a Cancer card. It does not have to be a Cancer, but it could be. This person, maybe on the cusp of Leo like me. <laughs> you know, because we do, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say it sometimes. You know, Leos have their pride in being a water sign on the cusp. You kind of get a little bit, I, I resonate more with Leo actually than, uh, than Cancer. Because I have all fire in my chart and then some air. But, uh, you know, I, it can be that way. <laughs> Not that I'm arrogant, but I can. my pride can get in the way, you know. I don't like people to let people know that they've, you know, gotten to me or hurt me. I don't really like to display my emotions. But that's what I'm hearing. But when they're, but when they're alone, they're a whole different person. <laughs> they're a very sensitive, very... Um, they have a lot of emotion. Again, that's a cancer. That's a cancer because cancer, we have, I'm a cancer, like I said, we have hard shells. 
and we pretend that we're all good and everything everything's fine on the outside but man when we're alone that's when we really let our guard down this is someone letting their guard down their emotions come out in the comfort of their own home when they're by themselves when they're out and about this is them bold and I'm gonna go and get what I want but inside there could be some insecurity on the inside but they're very they're very soft so it's kind of like bold on the outside soft on the inside so it's not really a bad thing they're not deep down they're not really arrogant all right Aries let's see what we have as a connection between you well this one came out right away oh there's a couple cards all right well that's good mm, five of pentacles all right, let me get some energy. Oh, oh, oh shit, Aries, three of swords. What has happened here? Did they, did they, did they bruise your ego? Did they give you a boo boo? This is that's it. Did they reject you or act like they don't care? Not that they don't. I'm not saying that they don't. You're really trying to figure them out. You can't figure them out. You're really, really trying to um, <laughs> figure them out. They left you out in the cold. They made, they made you feel like you're left out in the cold. Something that they've done. Wow. On the bottom of the deck is death and rebirth. I'm not sure. I'm going to get a couple more cards for the bottom as far as moving forward, and then we can clarify these, but this is pretty heavy right here, Aries. I'm not going to lie. You're in a kind of a pensive state of mind. Your person, it's almost like they're content being alone. They're fine being on their own. You know, you may want to be with this person, but they're like, nah, I'm good on my own. No thanks. Thank you, but no thank you. Um, work your heart. Because you really like this person. They, and you feel left out in the cold. But guess what? That's about to end. That's about to end. And I don't know which way. <laughs> we'll find out. But it's about to end. Or it has ended. Um, let's see, moving forward. There we go. Well, this came out in the readings before, too. I can't remember if it's all of them, but I'm pretty sure that the Taurus just got it. And I think, I think Gemini and Pisces got it because I was telling Taurus to check the other. I mean, if you have the time, <laughs> you might want to check those other ones out. You can check. I don't remember the Cancer one. I honestly don't. Um, cause you can check the Cancer one too. So, uh, that, this is a Scorpio card. So you could be dealing with the Scorpio. So you got two water signs here, and then the King of Swords indicates air signs. Again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So this is a new beginning. This is a new beginning, uh, Aries. Oh yeah, this is a new beginning. In fact, you know when I when I took this off the bottom. Oh no, death. When I took death off the bottom, this was underneath there, and I was going to pull it out, and I didn't, because I was like, well, you know, let me see, let me let me not, because maybe that's not relevant. Well, apparently it was. I was wrong, but it was relevant as far as moving forward. This is a brand new beginning for you. So maybe this isn't a bad thing. Because with the with the five of pentacles, the, the indication here is the person is devastated and upset. And they feel left out in the cold. They feel ignored. They feel alone. And really, there's a light shining on a key right here. And they, they have the ability to take that key and open the door and unlock the door. So they don't really have to be out in the cold. See, so this is all about perspective, the Five of Pentacles. You may feel left out in the cold. And, you know, go ahead and have your little pity party for a while. Who doesn't have a pity party once in a while when they're hurt? I've had them. But you can't stay there too long. Because then you don't progress. You don't move forward. So deal with the heartbreak. You know, and then that will end and you're going to be reborn. You're going to be like, you know what? Thank you. I'll find someone else. I'll find somebody else. Fine. Ace Pentacles, Ace of Wands. You know what you want in a partner, and you're willing to put the energy into someone. You're willing to start new with somebody. Okay, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Five of Swords. Damn it. <laughs> Five of Swords. 
You got a lot of fives here. You, Aries, have the five of cups, the five of pentacles, and the five of swords. Man, you are in a bad way right now, Aries. <clears throat> Just feeling in a... You know? Poopy way. Poopy way. Doesn't have to stay that way. But this is... The five of swords is feeling a really... Uh, a huge sense of loss. But it's also... Um, you can't get this person... You can't get the situation and this person out of your head. And it's giving you this massive headache. It's a massive headache. But guess what? Look what's under there. The two cups. So really... What well, seems like a bad thing it doesn't have to be. This may be. This may have happened for a reason. Let's get your energies here. Let's clarify the Page of Swords, the High Priestess, and the Five of Cups. What can you tell me about the Aries with their their um, Page of Pentacles, Page of Swords? I'm sorry, Page of Swords, High Priestess, and Five of Cups. What's the energy for Aries here? What is what is this energy here? Can you tell me more about the Aries? Spirit's thinking about it. Give him a minute. Give Spirit a minute. <clears throat> these are hanging. So these are the ones that are coming. <clears throat> Knight of Wands. Ace of Cups. And the Four of Swords. Let's start with Knight of Wands. I call this the Fast and the Furious card. Now, Aries. We all know that you are Aries and you're impatient. Come on now. We all know that. We all know. Um, but you know what, Aries? You're very courageous. When you want something, you're very driven. You know? I don't think um, that you can be kept down long. Not really. And I think you can get through this. The Knight of Wands is the type of energy, though... That, as I was joking, because you're impatient and, you know, you can be a little stubborn, but you're impatient, you know. And so with the Knight of Wands, it's like the fast, this is the, I call the Fast and the Furious card because, and you can't really see it in this particular card. But the Knight of Wands is a sense of energy that wanting to move too fast too soon. So this person, this person may have very well hurt you. They may have said, no, I'm good on my own. I don't really want to uh, be in a relationship. Nah, nah. But. I mean, that doesn't necessarily mean that's going to be forever. So if this is the person you want to be with, then that's fine. This, they just, y'all just need some time alone to work on your stuff. And this person's fine not being in a relationship right now. So we'll see. But, you know, um, that's not going to stop you from moving forward. But just be careful not to move forward too fast because you may, or don't push. You may miss something because right now you need to focus on you and self-love. Filling your own cup. I think we may have had a similar reading a while back. That was still during the pandemic and the lockdown. So while you have the time in the lockdown, I mean, really, seriously, Aries, do some self-work. You know? You're pretty wise. You're pretty wise, peeps. All the Aries I've known, pretty clever. And, you know, you can be pretty philosophical when you want to be. When you're not too busy running here and there. So if you don't try to rev up your engine here with the Knight of Wands. <laughs> I mean, one of your readings I remember it was Slow Down, Speed Racer. <laughs> Because you guys just want to move forward. You know what you want. You want to move forward. But right now you need to focus on yourself, Aries. Right now you need to focus on yourself. Filling your own cup. And by doing that, you're going to attract the right person to you. Your cup's going to be overflowing. Here's the intuition again. You're going to know. You're going to know when you meet the right person. And by working on yourself. And look, these are the phases of the moon, see? We're at the, we're at the, um, the full. We're going towards the full moon right now. But you're going to, you know, then you're going to be going right back to that, going backwards to that dark moon. But the new moon is about a new beginning. And that's on, it's on the 7th, May 7th. So, you know, and I'm going to do a moon reading, like I said, so check it out. But this is all about you focusing on yourself right now and taking the time to, this is basically saying taking the time out and, and being with your thoughts. Be with your thoughts because you have the three of swords in your reading and you have the three of swords here. You have been hurt by something, and you need to work through that first before you can be any type in any type of relationship. All right, you need to work through that, and you just need the the truth and clarity. You need some sort of clarity in your life. And the the implication of the Four of Swords is yes, you're taking a time out. This is not a long time out. This is just like taking a breather, step back, and really think about it. And when the time comes, you'll know. You'll grab that sword. You're ready to go. You're ready for battle again. You got that truth that you needed. 
Does that make sense? And there's the Knight of Cups. Now look at that. The Knight of Cups is very much like the Knight in Shining Armor. A lot of love. You have a lot of love to offer somebody. So just wait for the right person. Aries. Patience. Six of Wands, the Chariot, and Four of Swords. What can you tell me about this person that Aries may be thinking about? Now, this person, if you did approach this person and they said no, that they weren't interested in being in any type of relationship right now, um, <clears throat> that's actually better because you don't want someone to get into a relationship if they're not ready because then it's not going to work out. But by this person maybe being by themselves and being maybe they need that time alone, <clears throat> eventually they may come back out. If they are a cancer, they'll come out of the shell. They'll come out of the shell at some point. You know, I'm going through stuff right now in my life, and I've isolated myself in my room. There's other reasons, because the stuff that's happening within my living conditions, too. It's not COVID. It has nothing to do with, really with COVID. Ah, oh, shit. They go all the cards. Um, but I am I basically only go down if I have to, to go to the bathroom. Um, yeah, oh, shit. There's a lot of cards here. Um, <laughs> your person has a lot going on, apparently. Um, but I'm isolating. And sometimes that's what, if they are a cancer, or maybe they have water in their chart, like cancer, um... And you just have to respect that. So that doesn't mean that it's over. It just means that you're on pause for right now, okay? Because that's what that can mean too, the Four of Swords. It's a pause. Oh my God, you both have the Four of Swords. Holy shit. I just realized that. You have it, and so does your person. You're just in a pause right now. Aries, you're in a pause. It's time to take a pause. Uh, uh, no. You may be heartbroken now, but guess what? Guess what? This, is, this was meant to happen. This was kind of a test of your resilience, a test of even how much, if you really care about the person, you you will wait. You'll wait till they're ready to, if that, you know, oh my God, because this person right now is caught in their thoughts, eight of swords. They're going through something and they're caught in their thoughts. They think they're trapped or they, I don't know. I think they're just trapped in their own mind. I think that's what this means. And what I'm hearing at least, and they have the ability to unleash themselves from these chains that they've put themselves in, in their head, in their thoughts. There's the chariot again. Twice. Chariot, clarifying the chariot. Could very well be a cancer. And when two cards come out, or when cards come out and repeat, two, you know, two different decks, but same cards in a reading, and I say those, that's the strongest energy besides the bottom of the deck. This is the overall energy, but they want to come out and repeat, and this one is actually clarifying the chariot. The chariot's clarifying the chariot. Very strong energy of moving forward, but you could very, very well be dealing with a cancer. I wouldn't be surprised if some of you come in the bottom. Holy crap, yes, it's a cancer. And there's the tower card. They, they just went through some crap. They just went through something. Anyways, and like I said with the, the high priestess, you don't know that. You don't know what's going on in their world. And they need to they've been they need to work on it. Eight of Pentacles, they need to work on themselves. Hey, that's why all those cards came out. It's appropriate. They need to work on themselves right now. It has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with the fact that they it's not personal rejection. It's they're they're going through their own crap and right now they just need to be alone and work through it. So you may feel a little defensive. You may be all like, Well, F you then fine, if you come around. Give them a chance. Give them a chance, okay? So Wow. Woo. Yeesh. <laughs> Give them a chance. They may be feeling defensive, too. I'm going to put that there because that's the bottom of the deck. They may be feeling defensive, too, because of what happened to them. Something has happened to them because they have the tower card. But, wow, it could very well be a cancer with two, two chariot cards. Interesting. All right. Let's get a five of pentacles, a three of swords, and the death. What is the energy for the connection between Aries and the person that they're thinking of? I'm, I'm hearing Aries don't give up. It's going to take some time, though. You're going to have to be patient. <laughs> you have two nights here. You just want to be with your person. You really like them. You just want to move forward. and um, But you really do need to focus on yourself right now. You know? And it's kind of giving you a bad taste in your mouth about love altogether. But don't let that influence you. You know? That's kind of like a devilly energy. Nine of Wands, don't give up. You're, this is your connection. Don't give up. You feel like you've lost the battle. You feel rejected. You feel dejected. But this card is saying, don't give up. This is heavy on your heart. This is a big burden for you. Really. This is emotionally burdening burdening for you. It's a big emotional burden. But here's the thing. With the Nine of Wands, the next card is the Ten of Wands, which is carrying a heavy burden. You're almost there. You're almost there. Um, 
to put those wands down and release that burden. It's common. You just got to wait for it. Holy crap. There's the Knight of Swords. You are just, you just want to go forward too fast no matter what, Aries. Oh, you guys are so funny. <laughs> you are. I know an Aries who's on YouTube. Tyler's Tarot, if anybody watches that. Oh, my God. He is absolutely hilarious. I love him. If you want to watch him, I would highly recommend him. But if you don't like swearing and you don't like people being blunt, he's very forward and blunt. If you've got thin skin, don't watch Tyler. But I, I highly recommend him. He, he goes live a lot. Tyler talks. So he's got two channels. You hear there's a lot of people who are not sheltering in place? Motherfuckers. Um, hello. <laughs> Aries. Knight of Swords. But the Knight of Swords also. Shit. Three knights. You want to move forward, but you but you don't understand, Aries, is if you move forward too fast, not only, I'm not a cancer, not only can you possibly scare the person away, but you may mess with the natural flow of things, which is going to screw this up. It's going to screw this up. You're going to, you're going to taint it by trying to push forward too fast. I know you may want to be with your person, but this is being irresponsible and haphazard. It's like you're going to move so forward so fast. It's almost like you're going to run so fast you're going to whiz right past your person. I'm sorry. <laughs> Where the fuck they go? Uh, Aries? Yeah, they're back there and, you know, it's it's <laughs> they're gone now. I'm sorry. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. All right. This card wanted to come out. Oh, see? It's a new beginning. You want to take a leap of faith. This is where it's headed. Okay? This is where it's at, a brand new beginning. This is the very beginning of the Tarot. You have two aces here, the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. Something stable, something passionate, uh, and it's going to be moving forward in a beautiful way. You just got to be patient. T just t chill. Chill right now, Aries. Chill. Take a chill pill. Because <laughs> it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine, you damn it, Aries. Just calm down. <laughs> um, the full card, it's all about just, just going with the flow. All right, just, you can still communicate with this person, whomever they are. It doesn't mean you have to not talk to them. Just don't push them for a relationship. I think they would be willing to, to chit-chat with you because, yeah, it's about give and take here. A little give and take, you know. You may have to give a little bit more, you know, because they're in a bad way. And you are too. So, I don't know, Aries, <laughs> you figure it out. But I'm telling you, take that chill pill. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Sacred Destiny card. <laughs> I'm going to title the video that, but I don't know if that would offend you guys. <laughs> Take a chill pill. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, uh, Sacred Destiny card, please, Spirit. For our Aries, like a word of advice. If you could whisper in Aries' ear, besides saying, I don't know if there's a patience card in here. I would laugh if that came out. I can't remember now. <laughs> oh, crap. All right. <laughs> you got courage. You know, you see the water splashing against the rocks. So can you see that? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm in the wrong area. Sorry. Um, it's hard to see from where I'm at, if it's in the frame or not. Um, the crash of the waters, all this, you call this emotion crashing around inside of you. You know, you're going to have to be brave and, fight, and, and you know, it's quite the good fight here. Uh, you're going to have to be brave and just take it as it comes, man. Security. Have faith in the fact that the security of knowing that there is passion between you, there is a connection, okay? You, you have to trust that. You have to trust that it will all work out the way it's supposed to work out. Power. Power. You have the power to manifest this just by taking that chill pill, by not pushing forward. Be gentle with this person, okay? If they are a cancer, I'm telling you, you know, if they get a little too rattled, they'll go right back into their shell and they're just, they just won't come out. And then you're going to wonder, what the fuck? Where'd they go? <laughs> if they are a cancer or if they have that in their chart, you have the power to make this work. You have the power to make this work. It's all in how you deal with it, Aries. Okay. Go take that chill pill right now. Right now. <laughs> I'm going to put you in a time out if you don't take a chill pill. <laughs> All right. We have Sacred Traveler's card, Aries. I love you, Aries. You guys are, you guys are just, you're cool. <laughs> you're something else. I have an Aries moon. All right. So um, I can kind of relate, you know. I am a Cancer of Leo, so I'm a water sign. And I have the Leo, so there's the fire. I have an Aries moon and a Leo Mercury and a Leo Venus. And then I have... Libra and Mars and Aries, not Aries, Gemini and Jupiter. But I have a lot of fire in my chart. And with an Aries moon, dude, 
I'm usually pretty chill. Pretty chill. But sometimes, the Aries moon comes out. And, you know, I have a very hard time not speaking my mind. And there are people in this house who are water signs who are more sensitive. And they would be really bent out of shape if I really said what I wanted to. Because I'm just very blunt. I don't like holding back. And it's like, hey, if the truth hurts, man, sorry. But, so I just, just keep to myself. So I don't, that's why I like Tyler. You know, he, there are a lot of people that get really bent out of shape with him. And, and he will just go off on them. It's so funny. <laughs> oh, Tyler's Turo. He is hilarious. I, I said, check him out. Check him out. You'll love him. Oh, but I just did. Speaking of being harsh, I just, I just munched my card really bad. Uh, these are fairly brand new cards. Too. Damn it, I'm so hard on my cards. Okay, Aries, I'm focusing. Please, Spirit. Moving forward, what can you tell our lovely Aries out there? We go, finally. Spirit says, are you done being fooling around and done? Because I'm trying to get serious here. All right, guess what? Look at that. Great adventure. Can you see what it says on the bottom? Take a risk, venture forward. Aries. Aries, Aries, Aries. Take a risk, venture forward. Do you see how the person, this is you, Aries, taking command of the ship. You know, the Aries card is the emperor. And the emperor is all about taking control and knowing what they want. And, and not worried about getting what they want because they know they're going to get what they want. That's just how they roll. But see how this person is, they're going forward, but they're not like, they're not on a jet ski here. They're on a ship and the wind is blowing in the sails and they're going across the water, just flowing, going with the flow. Did you get my point here? Venture forward, but you don't have to have a, a motor. <laughs> oh my God, Aries. I love doing your readings. <laughs> I have so much fun um, uncovering treasure beneath the surface lies great bounty underneath all this you can't see it all right it's a mystery right now you this is a treasure this person is is you guys could probably have a great relationship beneath the surface lies great bounty and it's like you you waited and you waited and you waited and then finally the treasure chest comes to you it's what you've always wanted it's just everything you wanted is in that little treasure chest and you uncovered the treasure because you waited. You were patient. And you took your time moving forward. And it's like, well, hell, there it is. <laughs> oh, my God, Aries. This is beautiful. All right. This is what I have for you. I mean, you've got power. You've got adventure, courage, security. You got it all. You just need to take the chill pill. <laughs> yep. Okay. All right, Aries. This is what I have for you. If this resonated... I mean, I hope it resonated and I hope it helped you in some way. And again, if it did resonate and you like these love readings, I do ask that you smash the like button. How many times have I said that? How many times, Aries? Just do it. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Um, I know you guys are, you guys have thick skin, I think. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, I know that somebody that I, uh, he's an Aries and I was uh, seeing him. Um, well, we've known each other a long time, so it's kind of hard to explain. Um, I, I go over like 20 years or something and... Excuse me. He used to, um, I mean, just, you know, tease. Well, okay. I'm a Yankees fan. He's a Boston diehard fan. Okay. So, you know, there's that. <laughs> so to this day, we still tease each other, but he's all into kind of teasing. You know what I mean? I enjoy it. I have a thick skin. You know, even though I'm a water sign, I have a thick skin, so it doesn't bother me. All right, Aries. <laughs> I'm going to start rambling. I've had coffee. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> China drinks a lot of coffee too. So sometimes he'll just go off on tangents with that. Um, anyways, I love you, Tyler. If you're watching, he's not watching this, but if he ever did, I love you, Tyler. <laughs> uh, um, <clears throat> I've been watching him for quite a while now. I enjoy him very much. Um, anyways, this is what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please smash the like button. I do encourage you, please join the tribe, you know, for more fun <laughs> and adventure. <laughs> and hit the bell icon button for notifications and comment. I would love, love, love to hear from you, Aries. <laughs> please. <laughs> If, and this has resonated. I would love to hear in what way. Uh, and share if you would like. Okay, I'm going to stop rambling. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love you all. I love you, Aries. I really do. <laughs> From the bottom of my heart. You bring joy to my life. <laughs> my life sucks. It's boring. But when I do your readings, somehow there's some excitement in here and fun. <clears throat> all right. I'm sorry. I don't mean to make light of it. It's going to work out, Aries. It'll be fine. It may not seem like it now, but you just need to be patient. Just take the chill pill for a bit. And just talk to your person. You know, it'll all work out. Just take it one step at a time, you know. Um, so, that's what I have. 
And I thank you for tuning in. I hope you all are doing well and staying safe. And stay positive. See you again in the next one, hopefully. Peace out. <laughs>